Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesigningtechtips.com. We got a fun one for you today. We're going to look at the Divi tabs module and it's a great way of putting a lot of real estate in a small amount of space. As you can see, you've got little tabs here. You can put in whatever content you want. Really nice thing to have on your website. And this is part of our Divi for Beginners video series. You can find the link down below this video. And at the end of this, we're going to sort of take it out of the beginner's realm just a little bit. And we're going to show you how to style the tabs so they look like little buttons on the top, if that's what you like. Well, let's get started. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder. Now let's go down and we'll just delete this whole row. We'll start from scratch. OK, I'm going to hit the little green button to add a new row. I'm going to put two columns in mine. Obviously, put as few or as many columns in yours as you wish. I'm going to roll on down till we find the tabs module. There it is right there. If I move this over the way. By default, it chucks in two little tabs there. There is actually some writing in there by default. For some reason, mine's white. <laughs> That's fine. If you want to link the whole thing to somewhere where they click on it, anywhere it'll take them somewhere, you can do so right here. I'm not going to do that because I think any relevant links I'd put inside the tabs themselves, but that's entirely up to you. Let's give it a background so you can see that text a bit better. I'm going to use that same gray we've been using there, the 2424. Fantastic. That makes that a little bit easier to see. OK. Let's move over. Let's go into our first tab here. At the top. You've got the content of what you want to put in there. And it's a WYSIWYG text section. Obviously, give you a tab title, whatever it is you want to call yours. Put whatever content you want to put in yours right here. And you can have images if you want. Let's throw an image in there. I'm just going to scoot that down. I'm going to put my cursor on top. I'm going to add media. And let's use some of the similar images we used before. Now, if we scroll down the bottom here, just put in the size that you think you're going to want. I think 300 will be a little small. That's going to be plenty enough for me. 124 by 385. So I'm going to put that one in. Try not to put images in any larger than you're going to need. That's great. We've got our image. We've got our text there. And I added a little link in mine. That's quite often a nice thing to have on yours. Let's say uh, learn more. Anything that you want to call yours. I'm going to select it. I'm going to make it perhaps a heading four or something like that. Well, of course, I want to make it a link. So put the URL where you want to take folks. If you're linking to your own site, leave the target as none. It'll open in the same page. If you're linking off site, open it in a new window. Best practice. That way your site's going to stay open. I'm going to leave mine just like that. And as with all things Divi, you want to scoot it down a little bit. Put another space there. I was going to say, as with all things Divi, that's a link right there. If you wanted to change the color of it, you can do so over in design. In the body text, second tab along, you'll find a link. If you wanted to change that link color, whatever works for you, that's fine. But I can also show you a good trick to turn that into a Divi button if you want to. I know we're getting a little off topic here, but this is really easy and it's kind of a handy thing to know. I'm going to go up, go on the actual text itself there. I'm going to scoot everything in the middle. Fantastic. Now, if we wanted to turn that link into something that looks like our default Divi button, very easy. If we go back to our content here, into the text itself, we can go over to the text tab next door to the visual up here. And it gives you the sort of HTML code for it. And there's our H4. It's a link. There's the href. To turn it into a Divi button, Put your cursor right up against the four there. Make sure you don't cut off that little pointy bracket on the right hand side. We'll put a gap in there, space. I'm going to write the word class, C-L-A-S-S -S, equals. Now I'm going to open two lots of inverted commas here. And inside, I happen to know Divi button class is ET underscore PB underscore button. B-U-T-T-O-N. And as you can see, Let's turn that 
into my default button. I've got mine orange and blue there. That's just the way I've got it set up in my customizer. And we can go away and take that blue color away from the link there in the design where I showed you just now. Body text, link. Well, let's just take it away. And it'll go to your default button styles there. Great. Well, we got some content in there and we've got one little tab going. So let's just duplicate that a few times. So we can save our changes there. It'll take us back to our main tab settings. Let's delete that second one. And I'll clone this one a couple of times so we've got a bit of content. I'm just going to go into these. Option two. And I'll change out that image. I'm going to pause and I'm going to do exactly the same for the other two there. Okay, well, I've got all, all my tabs now with different bits of content in there. Let's decorate it a bit more how we want it. For the, these tabs at the top don't look very exciting here. So I'm in the main tab setting here. There's our four that we created. If we go over to design up at the top here, we've got tab text. And you say active tab background color. That's whichever one you're on at this moment. It's number one. Let's make that orange, same as our button, perhaps. Obviously, this is entirely up to you. Inactive tab background color. Well, let's use that same 2424 gray that we've been using there. That's great. Active tab text color. I'm going to make that black. And regular tab text color. I'm going to make that white. Now I'd like to color that little corner right there. If we close this up, I don't see anywhere to do that, which strikes me as being a little bit strange. But that's okay. If we go over to our advanced tab, we can go to custom CSS here and don't let that panic you. What I'm about to do is really easy and any code I write, I'll put down below the video. I'm going to go into the module elements and we've got before, main element, after, tab controls, Let's put a background color in there. Background dash color. And we were using that 24, weren't we? 24, 24, 24. And that's got that color in there nicely. Let's put a little semicolon on the end there. We've lost our little line. That's because we've got a color on top of a color. So if we go back to our design now, where we put that color in, in the tab text here, inactive tab background color, I'm going to hit the little revert arrow to revert to the default. Then we got that little line there. And just to finish off this particular one, we've been using kind of rounded corners. So let's put some rounded corners on it, perhaps. If we roll down, we've got a border down here. Let's perhaps give it 20 picks. Make sure your little change checked right there. It'll do all four at once for you. And that works for me. That's absolutely fine. Let's take a look on the front end, make sure it's all going to work. Hit the little purple button. Save draft or publish if you're ready. And let's exit the visual builder. And there we have it. Option one. Option two. Put in an image that was too small there, obviously. And the same thing here, but that's fine. That's great. Now, a question I always get when I build these things and do tutorials on it is, how can we style these at the top to look more like buttons? Well, we've got to do a little bit of coding for that, but it's really easy. And again, I'll put any code down below the video. So let's re-enable the Visual Builder. Now we'll go down and we'll clone this one. Dark tab for the module, two little squares to clone it or duplicate it. Drag one of them over. Doesn't matter which one, they're both identical. Now let's start working on this one over here. I'm going to go in there. Let's go straight over to the advanced and to the custom CSS. Like I say, this is a bit beyond beginner stuff, but it's really nice to know and it's very easy to do. You can't mess up your site, your site with CSS. If you don't like what you've done, simply delete it. It'll go back to how it was. And I'm going to roll down. The tab controls there where we put that background color in. We'll leave that in there for the moment. Let's go down to tabs and we want to separate these from the content down here so we can make them more look like a button. So in the tab module, I'm going to see margin bottom. 
and let's say 30 pixels or we'll see adjust to taste and that's pushed it down 30 pixels you can see the little line right there and it's pushed it down just to make that easier to see if we roll up a bit i'll change this color up here to transparent that's taken all the color away let's give our regular tabs that 24 that we had before and like i say don't panic this code's all down below just got to change it the way you want it with your colors and stuff so we'll say background dash color colon hashtag 24 24 24 that's got those colors back for us there fantastic but i want to make them kind of pill shaped rounded corners so they look more like buttons so let's give them a border radius dash radius let's say of 50 pixels that should make them nice and round fantastic but of course i don't want them touching like that so let's just give them a few pixels on the right margin there so i'm going to say semicolon and we'll say margin dash right here on five pixels let's space them out nicely a little bit not quite in the middle there we could give our tabs just a little bit of margin to push them over slightly so they're more central there just up above the tab controls here we'll just copy that margin right five picks i've got to change it actually to margin left this is the left hand side and there we go that's pushed that over about five picks made that more central great well that's shaping up we've got a little line around here don't want that little line around there that's actually back in our design by default it puts a little border on there if we go down to border down here border styles all four it's selected you'll see it's got a one in there get rid of that by taking that one down to zero we now got separate little buttons up above there which is a nice little effect and like i say i always get that question so let's save our changes here we'll save the page changes let's exit the visual builder so there we go we've got our two tabs here here's with the ones that have got the attached tabs up there and we've got the one on the right here we've got the button type tabs at the top here great little real estate saving things to have on your site because you can put a lot of information there in one little column so I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget, if you have any questions, pop them below the video. I'll do my best to answer them for you or make a little demo video like this one. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesigndetectives.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.